Each week, American History TV's American Artifacts takes viewers behind the scenes at archives, museums, and historic sites. The 2,600-acre estate of Montpelier was once home to the nation's fourth president, James Madison, and his wife, Dolly. It lies about 90 miles south of the nation's capital in Orange County, Virginia. The National Trust for Historic Preservation owns the property that is managed by the nonprofit Montpelier Foundation. American History TV visited the site for a tour with the foundation's president, Michael Quinn. Welcome to the home of James and Dolly Madison. We're entering Madison's library. And for Madison, this is one of the most important rooms in this house. In fact, he added this onto the house when he became president, and he created a very spacious place to hold his books and to provide the area he wanted to work. As this room was being built, we have a letter from his builder, James Dinsmore, and he says, if I put a window next to the fireplace, it'll give you a view of the temple you plan to build as well. Dinsmore went on to assure him, there'll still be plenty of place for the spaces for the bookshelves uh, for all of your books. So we know that Madison okayed that idea because the window is there. Now Madison really used this area in the years after his presidency because he set for himself an amazing project, which is to create an archive of the United States Constitutional Convention. And as you look around, you see some of the work, some of the thought he put into that. Um, he had taken very careful notes at the Constitutional Convention, and he went back over those notes. He expanded them and wrote them out carefully. He added annotation. In one or two cases, he also went to other delegates. He wrote to other delegates or their families, asking if they still had co a copy of a speech that was given at the convention. By the end of his life, Madison had put together a thorough record of the Constitutional Convention. It filled almost a thousand pages. And for him, this was an important part of the legacy of the founding of America. Because when he had been preparing for that convention, he had carried out a great deal of research to find out how other attempts at self-government, at confederations, had been created, and what was the intentions of those creators. And he'd come up blank. There were no records. So Madison wrote a little introduction to this, and he described his goal as providing a record for those who in other places or at, a, or at a later time might be striving for liberty could learn from the example, the decisions, and the debates of the American founders. So we had a real sense of history and a sense of legacy. It also tells you that he still wasn't entirely certain about the outcome of the Constitution. Even at the end of his life, although it had been in effect for 40-some years, um, he did not know it would survive. If you want to learn about James Madison, the father of the Constitution, and his wife, Dolly, who inspired the title First Lady, there's no place to come but Montpelier in Orange, Virginia. Montpelier encompasses four square miles of land, many features and attractions, but most of all, it's a place to learn about the ideas of the founding of, of America and the Constitution which still governs our life today. This is one of a series of American uh, Artifacts programs featuring James Madison's Montpelier. For schedule information and to view American History TV programs online, visit our website, cspan.org history.